Hey, with us tonight, celebrating Black History Month with art. Students at New Tech Academy in Fort Wayne doing just that. They're using social justice as an inspiration for their work. Yeah, it's all part of a class at the Academy. Tonight, Fox 55's Gunnar Texera takes us inside the class to show us what they're learning. Students of Robert Haddad's government and economic class created artwork for the Say Their Names exhibit. They drew inspiration from the 13th documentary highlighting post-slavery court cases for social justice in America. And so in that documentary, we watched a lot of cases that were really unknown. Um, we had high cases like George Floyd and Emmett Till, but then we had low cases like Angela Davis and other people that really aren't really well known. New Tech Academy senior Stephanie Rodriguez and her group chose Angela Davis's case for their project. Davis was a social justice activist found innocent after wrongfully being accused of murder in the 70s. So with our art piece, we wanted to sh different, we want to showcase like different pictures of her protesting, but then in her afro that was like her well signature style, we wanted to write down different words like determined, beautiful, heartful, intelligent, just different words that would showcase like who she was and why she matters. Rodriguez says through this project, she's motivated to speak out on awareness for those facing injustice in America of all ethnicities. Like us Hispanics, like sometimes we don't get as much like, not attention, but you know, yeah. uh, we don't get as advocate much. So like, um, now with like legal laws that are coming up, like I can speak for my people and be like, hey, I wanna speak on us now. Like let's let's all fight together. Let's fight for equality again. The only limitation students had their projects was their imagination, meaning some went three-dimensional with sculptures and statues for their projects. While some found inspiration musically and took their projects digitally. Khalees Collins created an original song focusing on the Central Park Five. Five black teenagers who were wrongfully convicted in the assault and rape of Trisha Maylie in 1989 and were behind bars until 2002 when the actual criminal came forward admitting to his crimes. Collins says music is the easiest way for her to express herself. I'm not really creative when it comes to coloring and drawing and doing all that, so I can, I'm easy with the music, so I can put it into there, and it just it helps me express how I'm feeling about certain things. Other digitally-based projects included recordings of spoken word poetry and a music video sampling famous artists' songs related to social justice. I like to get taught about our history um, and to see everyone else so interested in getting taught. Just, it's a good feeling. Um, I like it. The senior says these projects don't only affect today's class, but tomorrow's as well. Um, because it needs to be talked about, it needs to be seen, and then seeing other kids do it may make the younger generation want to do it as well. It's sometimes it's really cool to see what happened and how what's different now and what's changed and what hasn't. At New Tech Academy, Gunnar Texera, Fox 55 News.